welcome to DB Overland. We have a fantastic trip lined out for us this week. Yes, this week is going to be my first major overland trip. We are gonna be all over the state of Idaho, the Northern Panhandle. So it is gonna be a fantastic time. So sit back, relax, and come along on our adventure. <laughs> I've got a ton of gravel in my shoe. Girl on my shoulder, hard from the blues and in the dirt. So lots has happened since the last time you guys saw the Jeep Cherokee. I've been doing a lot of work to her. A lot, a lot of work. Built a whole tire swing out system, got my tent, my awning, did a little bit of painting, some fender flare trimming. And on today's adventure, I've got some of my good friends. I've got Aaron and his, Aaron, what, what year's your truck, bud? 91, Toyota pickup. He just got these wheels and tires. It looks great compared to the 33s that were on there. <laughs> and then we got Drew's Hilux. Hey, Scott. <laughs> That's okay, bud. <laughs> Drew, what, what year's your truck again? 91. 91 as well. And that was last registered in Australia, right? Yeah. So 2.8 turbo diesel, uh, right hand drive. Yeah, I wanted this and then Drew beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we've got John and he doesn't have Land Cruiser anymore. No, he doesn't. So me and John did a lot of preparation before we came on this trip. Uh, roof rack. Uh, winch on the front bumper um, we built a platform for sleeping in and that's been working phenomenal for him and then also John we we put a table back here and it these are definitely worth their money so it's it's been great so so John came over with me from Wyoming and uh, on the way over Friday we, we stayed the night in Drummond and then we continued our trip Saturday uh, into Idaho and everything went very smooth. It was, it was right really over. good drive over. So yep. we've got lots planned out for this adventure. Uh, some of it we're going to be doing some off-road and then some of it just some regular overlanding on some mountain roads. And even we're going to have fun and spend some days in camp or we're going to go tubing and exploring some mines. So it is going to be absolutely fantastic and we've got lots to do so i think everybody's air down and we are ready to roll out so let's let's go have an adventure today our adventure began 15 miles east of sandpoint idaho in trestle creek and we turned off on national forest service road 275 which would lead us up and over the mountain range and into the small town of Clark Fork.
drop down to the Lightning Creek drainage and it is definitely breathtaking. I've completely forgot how amazing this area is and it's exciting to be back. So we actually kind of changed our plans a little bit. I was going to try to find us a camp spot outside of Clark Fork and the area that I had in mind is a really nice area but it's kind of out in a floodplain area and we wouldn't have really any firewood or anything like that. So we've decided that we're going to go ahead and camp at a few places that I know about on this Lightning Creek drainage. And I'm looking forward to that because it'll be so nice falling asleep to that water running all night long. So that'll be absolutely amazing. So we've got probably, I'd say another 10 or 15 miles, no, about 10 miles till we'll find a good decent camp spot and we'll go from there. After putting in some good miles for the day, we stopped to have lunch and enjoy the scenery around us, which was truly breathtaking with the rivers flowing crystal clear and the trees green as ever blowing in the winds. And almost every single drainage had water flowing through its rocks to make a magical paradise. Idaho this year is truly amazing with the beautiful water, the beautiful landscape, and the huckleberries almost ripe to pick. It truly is a magical place to be. After having a great lunch, we headed down the road for a few more miles to where our camp location was. This campsite I had stayed at for many, many years since these woods used to be my backyard growing up as a kid. Once we arrived at camp, everybody jumped into action, setting up camp as quickly as possible, with Drew and I having rooftop tents, and Aaron actually having the most simplest setup of all, with a nice cozy hammock in between two trees, and John having his platform in the back of his Jeep, which made for very quick setup. Well, everybody's got their stuff set up for the most part. Uh, rooftop, rooftop. Aaron's gonna totally hammock it tonight. And John's, maybe? <laughs> Bear burrito? <laughs> and uh, John, I think, is uh, pretty much set up. I think he's even taking a nap in there. I, I don't know. So, well, anyways, this is me. All set up. Awning out just in case we get a little bit of moisture. So I don't have 
the back really set up like a drawer system or anything like that yet but I think this will work out pretty well now on the way over uh, I have my boys so I had to pack everything everything had to fit from the back seat to the back of the Cherokee so I had to really think compact on this and it worked out really really well but now that the boys are staying with the grandparents for the next two weeks uh, I was able to fold the front seats down and basically kind of spread everything out to help uh, distribute weight in the vehicle and things like that. But I've got a pretty basic setup, so th this is what I've got. Just gonna leave the cooler in here for tonight. We got, I got some tools and recovery stuff over here, and then we've got some clothing and my camera equipment up there. This is where I'm gonna be cooking dinner tonight, and then I've got a tote for kitchen. And then I've got a tote for uh, camping supplies and also like recovery stuff like electrical and you know fluids and things like that. So works out pretty good. We'll see <laughs> at the end of uh, the week we'll see how bad it is. So I'll, I'll show you around a little bit of what we've got. Um, Drew got his 91 Hilux from Australia he picked this up over in Seattle Auburn 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 okay no I was in Seattle somewhere over by over by, uh, by Seattle it was in the town of Auburn. yeah so he's done a lot of work on this himself um, he found this rack and he uh, set it up to fit on the truck and then his bed rack he completely built himself and turned out pretty slick and the bumper and the rock sliders yep and the bumper rock sliders but it works it works pretty slick it's got it's pretty you know on these hiluxes with the double cab you've got a very short bed it's only like what five feet it's four and a half four and a half yeah not much work working space but it works pretty good and yeah nice nice rear bumper that he fabbed up. He's got the same tent as I do, the two man. Great little truck. It's got the, the 2.8 turbo diesel and he just changed the exhaust system on it. And this thing is great. It's, uh, it's a truck that I wanted to get and he beat me to it, on it. He beat me to it. <laughs> so, and then we got Aaron. Now, Aaron's totally going simple 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 and this just goes to show you do not have to have a lot just to go overlanding so very basic yeah. it works you know had all this just simple camping gear he's gonna go in the tent or the hammock sorry tonight which dude I envy you that's awesome I totally would be nice yeah nice and cool yeah hopefully not too cold no I don't think it'll be too cold I think it'll be pretty good so but yeah, he bought this um, a little while back, uh, last year, just before 4th of July, and uh, just put some new tires on it, and he's been using it, and it works great. So, last but not least, we got John over here. <laughs> I think he's already taking a nap. <laughs> yeah so this is the platform that me and John made before we came out and as you can see he's actually got a decent amount of room in here and we carpet it and and everything and it's been working out pretty good hasn't it John it has it actually gives me a ton of storage yeah ton of storage and a nice flat area to sleep on he's got his kitchen set up he's got his kitchen right there and he's got this nice beautiful table that drops down um, let's see here uh, yeah this thing is super nice let's, let's see if I can get it that. Uh, okay there we go so beautiful slide out addition I think it's actually uh, bamboo mm -hmm. so super nice and then if I can get these latches right because they like to rotate a little bit and it just click like that done so very nice so that's camp for you we are pretty content 
So now Drew's down cutting up some uh, wood for tonight. So let's go see if we can't lend him a hand. After gathering enough firewood for the evening, we decided to make an early dinner. It was John and I's turn for making dinner tonight, with me making jalapeno cheddar burgers and John roasting bell peppers and potatoes. The group sitting around the campfire was drooling at the mouth with the smells of dinner roaming through the air. Look at those beautiful caramelized vegetables. After eating an amazing dinner, we walked down to the creek and did some swimming and dipped our toes in the crystal clear, cool water and sat back with our bellies full, just admiring the scenery around us and talking about the amazing adventure that we had today. We just got done doing some swimming <laughs> and it was fantastic. Just like I remember <laughs> growing up, this was my backyard and I absolutely loved it. I had so many great adventures and it's so nice to be back in this area. It's been about six years since I've been here and it's really, really nice to be back. And did some swimming, had fun, threw some rocks in the water, you know, be a kid again. So it was absolutely fantastic. So that is part one of our adventure today. Stay tuned for part two, which we are going to go tubing down this creek. And that is going to be a lot of fun. And I am so looking forward to it. So. Thanks for coming along on our adventure. Don't, for set, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. It goes a long ways, guys. So until next time, until our next adventure, we'll see you out on the trail. Run away. For our entertainment tonight, I brought along some fireworks and we had fun blowing up some stuff from a metal can to a tennis ball to a pair of flip-flops and even a pair of chonies. Oh, you put the lighter at the top. You want to use the top. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> <laughs> <laughs>